So I'm here with David Pilato. Hello, David. Hello. How about your talk? Your, how are your feelings? Oh, that was um, super nice, actually. And I, I saw the, 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 the ex excitation of the attendees yeah. after the talk, and they were asking for some questions. So I guess I, I hit the target. Yeah, you, you, you touched like a lot of, of topics. I mean, you talk about uh, several databases, like... Uh, SQL, NoSQL, uh, Elastic, using it for, for all this, this machine learning thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So, which are the main pitfalls when migrating a polyglot app to a monoglot app? Sorry, so, the, the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> I got the question, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, that was part of the subject of my talk, but I did hide a bit the complexity for my talks because I had only 50 minutes, so that, that was the reason. Uh, one of the things that you have to deal with when you want to interconnect your SQL-based application to a NoSQL-based application is mainly transactions, and you have to deal with that. And actually, Elasticsearch is not a transactional system. It means that you cannot roll back. So you need to think about where exactly in the code you put the, the call to Elasticsearch, and what can you do if you have any failure, for example, when you communicate with Elasticsearch? Are you going to roll back the SQL transaction to keep everything in sync or not? So the strategy that I presented today is to just um, let the error go and just log that we have an error, which means a desynchronization between the database and Elasticsearch, mm -hmm. and then let the ops uh, interact then and re-index the data if needed. So mm -hmm. that's one of the main pitfalls that you can have. Okay, and talking about this uh, machine learning solution, uh, talking about this Elastic uh, machine learning solution, which are the main advantages that, that offer? So machine learning is a new thing at Elastic. Uh, it's coming from a company that we bought named Prelert. And we did this integration in the 5.4 version of Elastic. And so machine learning comes to understand your time series data. It will automatically compute a model based on the time series that you have already indexed in your Elastic Search Index. And then it will compare automatically what the new data uh, with this model that has been computed. So it's unsupervised machine learning thing, and with that you can uh, just focus on the actual error and you remove all the false uh, alarm that you can have uh, with other systems. So this is super nice for our users to have that. Okay, so well, thank you for your time, David. And we, we leave you, you have to take the plane, so we don't want to put you in a hurry. Thank you. Thank you, bye.